Welcome to RV and Travel Adventures. My name is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. In this edition, we explore a bunkhouse designed for some off-road action. The Ibex 20 BHS It has a very nice combination of unloaded vehicle weight of only 4,613 pounds and cargo carrying capacity, an enormous amount of cargo carrying capacity at that, 2,897 pounds, all in a 25 foot package and it has a fresh water capacity of 40 gallons, gray 40 and black water 30. Check out this model if you get a chance. This is Jesus Manuel Menegarza. Hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm at uh, United RV. It's about 100 degrees outside and about 125 degrees inside these RVs. Uh, so let's do some more sweating and check out another RV. This one is going to be an Ibex. Something different. So right here we have an Ibex 20 BHS. Of course, the BH connotes, connotates a bunkhouse model. Has some scissor jacks down there. Some storage right here. Has quite a few boxes of goodies, including a very nice, uh, right in the middle, is an uh, inverter. <laughs> Odds and ends. Has two 20 pound bottles up front, a power tongue jack, and a window. Automotive style window up front. Right here, you can turn off your uh, 12 volt, and that's where you can put your uh, seven way plug, store it while en route. Yeah, that looks like a fuse of some type. There's a shot of the other side, the front. Uh, driver's side. Pan down a bit. Ibex. I always wanted to take a peek at one of these. It's a, another four store product. They have like a thousand four store products. Here's a close up of some of the specs. So you can pause this video at your convenience and uh, check out these specs. Okay, let me get a little closer. There you go. One thing good about my little uh, DJI Pocket 2, it, it actually focuses. My action camera doesn't focus. It just says uh, from uh, four feet to infinity, it's good. If you want to get close, good luck. So there's a freshwater connection, city water connection, and the freshwater drains down there. And here's another view of the pass through storage and right there let me move this to the side is a griddle very nice a suburban elite series griddle can't complain about that this uses a schwintec slide out mechanism there's a water heater you get westlake tires st235 slash 75r15 tires nice rims your basic uh, suspension here's another storage area basically bonus space very nice little bonus storage area there's your cable satellite uh, hookups and it's I'm pretty sure for 30 amp yeah and there's your dumps and uh, here's a view of the heated and enclosed underbelly. And there's your terminations where you can do your gray and your black. Here's a view from the back. You get a ladder to go on the roof. Get a good size spare tire. And it's another Westlake tire. And you see the awning that goes pretty much all the way across. Let's go check out the roof. Ooh wee, it's hot over here. Let me go on, I'm gonna go on this uh, ladder now. Let me climb it just like a monkey. I wish I had a prehensile tail. I can go on that a lot easier, but I'm gonna climb this right now. Let's give it a try. 
It's gonna be a bit of a rough ride, okay? Ooh. Ooh wee. Here's a shot of the roof of the RV, the travel trailer. There's the uh, good size solar panel, the air conditioning unit, the connections for the uh, solar system, and of course your antennas and some vents here and there. What do you think? Getting a nice cool breeze on the roof. That's appreciated. Ooh, I got a cool breeze right now. That's appreciated. <laughs> of course, in the bumper, the four inch square bumper, you can store your stinky, super stinky slinky. Here's your quick connect. It says Trailer Sumo Springs, exclusive partner. Go, go look. Yeah, go look. So we have a person who wants to take a peek. I said, go look. I never want to interfere with the sale. It says trailer sumo springs. Let me see if they actually have them on this unit. Yeah, they do. They have four sumo springs. Very nice. Let me go on this and take another picture here. Again, they have the sumo springs and the serious off-road tires. Leave it like that. Thank, okay. thank you very much. I'm just excited. <laughs> Take your time. Oh, I love them too. I love them too. Here's a view from the side. There's those triangles, that sort of styling that some people like. And it has the very nice uh, step above steps. Let's go inside and take a quick peek in, while enjoying the 125 degree temperatures. I'm sitting on the bed. Let me put down my water. Let me put it over here. That's a good spot to put my water. So over here we get the uh, stainless steel sink, a round sink, some storage, convection microwave oven, stove top by uh, Suburban. You get three storage cabinets there. You got a DC fridge, a good size DC fridge. Not the big one, not the 10 cubic foot one. I think this is only like six cubic feet, but you can contact your dealership and they'll tell you what it's all about. Fuse box, some storage over there. You got your bunk houses over there. You got your uh, dining area that also converts to a good size, a good size bed. So you can sleep one, two, three, maybe four. And then behind me, of course, is the bed room and you can sleep two more people. So you can possibly, possibly sleep one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight people. Eight regular size people. If you're big, uh, maybe only one over here, okay? You know who you are. You have some big people out there, big strong people. So there's some storage under there. This has a little bit of a texture to it. Very unusual. Usually these things are smooth because you have to clean them. This has a texture to it. Mm -hmm. Here's a shot of the uh, seating. You have the shades there. And this is a shot of the uh, valances. Some storage there. This is a box for the Connex 32 inch LED TV. You have some receptacles there. You have a, you know, plywood boxed, all metal slides. Uh, Laminate fronts. You got a shirt closet, jacket closet, whatever you want to call it. Maybe open up one of these. Yeah, of course, this goes all the way across. These have nice little hinges, which is always appreciated. You got a vent there. I would put a Max Air fan on this. It would so fast you would, you know, it'd be amazing. Here's a TV. Here's that Connex TV, that 32 inch Connex TV. More GFCI uh, receptacles there, and of course all that stuff. And this is the bed. Let me uh, lift up the bed, see if I can lift it up. Uh.
wood construction has some strut supports solid plywood uh, you know area there for the mattress and this is a good five inch thick mattress there we go and let me put that back over there stay over there so you have some windows there no windows on the side I always would appreciate some windows on the side but you know sometimes they just can't afford to do that at a certain price points there's a kitchen it has a very nice metal with a pull out faucet metal you have your suburban stovetop three burner and then down here is your convection microwave it has all the paperwork all that stuff in there let's look under here good storage on the top bottom storage only goes back about six inches but this goes back about two feet some receptacles up on top you have some very nice storage let's take a peek goes all the way across goes back about 15 inches let's see if I can close this without damaging this a lot of the RV dealerships are only giving about 10 20 percent discount if you're lucky so you'd have to negotiate with your dealership to see what you can get down there are some receptacles and you have a ladder to the top and this is a supporting ladder so very nice and these are the uh, pads for the bedroom and you get mirror windows for both areas so you can that's pretty nice I like that fuse box below road vac yeah, that's interesting and you get the very nice Norco refrigerator this is an upscale refrigerator I like Norco products I also like Furion products I like them all pretty much but this is a nice stainless steel finish to it and it has this interesting mechanism some have the latches this has that sort of mechanism so of course up here you have your air conditioner and let's go back you can see the vents and the controls for lights if this was plugged in I can turn on and off the lights right there and of course this has privacy curtains so let's go in the uh, one and only bathroom you have a plastic foot flush toilet some storage over there and you have some controls over here you can check your uh, solar you heat it and enclosed tank system and you check your levels there and some of your light switches right there you have some receptacles GFCI and you have a nice little plastic sink you have three levels of storage maybe four if you put something up here and you have a little modest thermofoil countertops with plastic sink it's a perfect area you can put like right here you know you you know uh, the rolls for your toilet paper or you can put it over there no matter what you want put a little garbage container right there that's a perfect little spot let me turn around again you get a nice fan here it's a max fan very nice max fan and then you got some storage over here it goes back quite a ways it goes back at least two feet I think what do you think so you got one two three four areas of storage again this is a veneer, a veneer plastic veneer over composite wood it's a laminate as I call it and here I am man am I sweating must be a hundred and twenty five in this unit so this unit takes advantage of aqua miser shower miser saves you a little bit of water here and there there's the controls you have to watch this little device once it turns white it means the water is up to temperature let's get inside and see if I can fit okay let me turn around this camera and see if I can do this Ooh, let's go inside so you got plenty of room I'm 510 175 pounds of super ugly and uh, I got a good six inches inside the bubble you could be six foot five all you big boys and girls all you super big boys and girls can fit in here 
Let me bounce this thing around. There we go. <laughs> Let me turn around the camera. <laughs> Again, there's some of the controls. There's your door. So what do you think of this unit? Let me sit down and uh, rest for a bit. It's super hot. Woo-wee. Woo-wee, it's super hot. Let me put down the tripod. Let's take a second. Woo-wee, it's muy caliente. It's super hot, super hot. Hope you're doing well wherever you're at. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And please leave a kind and super friendly comments below the description. No, well, actually, just below, actually. They change things around on YouTube. And uh, check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash, slash, JMM Garza. Thank you very much. And check out my photography page, specifically donated, uh, devoted, not donated, devoted to uh, my travels and RV and adventures. Thank you very much. That's uh, RVTA dot myportfolio.com. Thank you very much. From uh, Haltom City at uh, United RV. Outside it's about 100 degrees. Inside here it's about 125. Whew. Muy, muy, muy caliente. Super hot. Hope you're doing well wherever you're at. Thanks for watching. Again from Haltom City and United RV. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.